animations in PowerPoint. Learning plan. What is animation? To add transitions, slideshow options, adding video, creating an action button on slide. Oh, I'm getting bored doing the same thing again and again. Can you teach me something interesting? Sure. In PowerPoint, there is a very interesting feature called animation. I know you will enjoy with it. Animations control how objects move in your slides. Transitions control how your presentation moves from one slide to the next. This lesson teaches you how to create animations and transitions. What is animation? In the simplest sense, animation is something that makes slide objects move on a slide. Slide objects can be anything on a slide. These include text, pictures, charts, smart art graphics, shapes or even movie clips. PowerPoint provides four types of animations: entrance, emphasis, exit, and motion paths. An entrance animation determines the manner in which an object appears on a slide. For example, an object can move on to a slide. An emphasis animation does something to draw attention to an object. For example, the object can become larger. An exit animation determines the manner in which an object leaves a slide. For example, an object can move off a slide. A motion path animation determines how an object moves around a slide. For example, an object can move from left to right. To animate an object, select the object you want to animate. Click the animations tab. In the animations group, click custom animation. Custom animation task pane appears on the right side. Click the add effect button. A drop-down menu appears with four options: entrance, emphasis, exit, and motion path. Choose your animation effect. From the entrance sub-menu, you can choose an animation. Preview the effect. Click play and then click slide show. The animation number will be added next to your image. To modify an effect, PowerPoint lets you modify how you want the animation to start and the direction and speed of the animation. Click the change button. A drop-down menu shows four animation options. Change the animation effect from any of the menu. Click the down arrow next to the start field on the custom animations task pane and then select the start method you want. Select the direction. Select the speed of animation. If the auto preview box is checked on the custom animation task pane, PowerPoint provides you with a preview of your animation after you create it and each time you modify it. You can also use the play button on the custom animation task pane to preview an animation. Animation preview. To preview the animation on a slide, to preview the effect, click play and then click slide show. To add transitions, slide transitions are like the effects used in films to change from scene to scene. While they shouldn't be overused, sometimes they can add a little spice when changing from slide to slide. PowerPoint provides several transition methods. You can add sound to a transition and you can control its speed. You can apply a transition to selected slides or to all of the slides in your presentation. A transition can occur when the presenter clicks the mouse or even the amount of time you specify. To apply a transition to all slides, in the animation tab under the transition to this slide group, click the more button. A menu of transition appears. Select a transition from the list. Clicking it will apply the transition to the slide. Click the apply to all button in the transition to this slide group to apply the same transition to all your slides. To add a sound to a transition, choose the animations tab. Click the down arrow next to the transition sound field and then choose the sound you want. To set the speed of a transition, choose the animations tab. In the transition speed drop down, select the speed at which you want the transition to play. Indicate how you want the slide transition to occur by selecting an option under the advanced slide heading. Select on mouse, click if you want the transition to take place when you click the left mouse button. Select automatically after if you want the transition to occur after specified time. 
Use the up and down arrow keys in the blank box to specify the number of seconds which should pass before the transition takes place. Slideshow Options The Slideshow tab of the ribbon contains many options for a slideshow. These options include Preview the slideshow from the beginning Preview the slideshow from the current slide Set up slideshow Set up slideshow This option allows you to set preferences for how the slideshow will be presented. The options include whether the show will run automatically or will be presented by a speaker. The looping options, narration options, monitor resolutions. Adding video. Video clips can be added to the presentation. To add a video clip, follow these steps. Click the movie button on the insert tab. Choose movie from file or movie from clip organizer. As you choose movie from file option, insert movie dialog box appears. Choose any movie and click open button. Before adding movie in your slide, the following message appears. Click any option of your choice and movie will be added to your slide. Some more. The options tab will be activated as soon as movie is added to a slide. Create an action button on slide. PowerPoint provides built-in action buttons which can be inserted into a presentation and which provide hyperlinks to other slides, navigation buttons or to other applications or files. Follow these steps. Open the Insert tab on the ribbon and click the More button in the Shapes group. The Shapes gallery opens. Click the button for the action button shape that you want to create. The action buttons are found at the bottom of the Shapes gallery. Draw the button on the slide, point to where you want the upper left corner of the button. Then, click and drag to where you want the lower right corner of the button. When you release the mouse button, the Action Settings dialog box opens. Choose the Action Settings and click OK. The Action Settings dialog box vanishes and the button is created. Change the Action button color. By clicking on the Action button, a Format tab will appear on the ribbon. Click the Format tab and you will have a variety of options for formatting the button in the ribbon. Select one of the colors from the default scheme. Select More Fill Colors to open the full color palette. Select Fill Effects to choose a unique background pattern. Tick the correct option.